to just stay up and meow at me like what, what's your Multiple problem? Cats. You know what? Give me a minute here. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, they're gonna be the ones that save me. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I got an idea. Rook out. He's, oh he's got god. the two cats and they're salty as shit. Don't get the squirt bottle out. Oh my god. This spider room is a nightmare, by the way. Uh, if I had some bombs, it wouldn't oh be. God. But I don't. <laughs> oh, I died already. Oh boy, I'm about to start mine here in a second. Uh, I'm back. The, there was food in the dish. I thought maybe we forgot to feed them, but no. He's Poor just. Cats uh, think you're starving. Wow. They're actually fine. He's just a cat having a having a cat-like day. Yeah, no, They're you're rare. a cat. It's okay. You've yeah, always been a, a cat. I hope you're not having that realization just now. That would be pretty horrifying. I had a dream the other day that. I was in a post-apocalyptic world, All as right. most of my dreams are, and I was in Edmund's house, and it was abandoned, but it was, like, full of, like, piles of junk and, like, just collectibles. Okay. And I remember being like, Wah! he's hiding Afterbirth in here somewhere. We have to find <laughs> it. It's in there, guaranteed. So we're digging through piles of stuff, and we're, like, running from bad police, <laughs> and... It's like a nuclear throne crossover or something. <gasps> and then I just woke up. I there love was some it. kind of evil hotel at some point that I had to stay in and I don't I don't know. It was it was a couple days ago. <laughs> Man, that's so good. We're running uh, from bad police digging for afterbirth at Edmund's house. I love it. Cops or something like that. That is so good. Thank you, they Mountain Stream, for the subscription, um, by the way. That was that's oh, great. Man. And Jemmy Spongs, thank you so much for 18 months in a row. And thank you, Maya, for the host as well. Thank you for uh, my team main menu for the host from everybody. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. I'm going to start a rival Twitch team, and it's going to be called, like, audio menu. menu. Or, like, graphics menu. Because, like, main menu is already <laughs> spoken for. That's definitely the most ubiquitous menu. I'm going to be, like, sound test. You know, the one that you, you don't ever use, but they kind of put it as a feature on the back of the box anyway for no oh, reason. Oh, you're saying, like, you're talking about actual menus that are on video games. Yeah. Here, like, BGM menu test. Exactly. BGM Got menu it. test. I'm going to be, like, that part of Soul Calibur 2 you never touch. The one where you get to hear people go, oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh, hey. Soul Calibur, I heard they're coming out with the new one soon. Or, well, Is that the free-to-play one? Or another thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. My my lady was telling me about it the other day. She was watching the, uh, the Sony conference oh, or yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I'm actually a pretty big Soul Calibur fan, so I want to know more about this. I'm going to have to look into it. Yeah, there's new Soul Calibur stuff coming out, and uh, what else? They were doing Kingdom oh, Hearts 2.8. No. Yeah. Oh, we've, shit. we've discussed. 2.8 Nightmare <laughs> Collective 3.2 Tangent Sign Hack. Uh, pardon know. me. It's Kingdom Hearts. Square root of Kingdom two, Hearts. 2 in Roman numerals, 0. 0.8 in Arabic numerals. Uh, the <laughs> final chapter prologue. It's the prologue to the final chapter, which I can only assume is going to be Kingdom Hearts 2.9 or like 2.91 uh, or something. What the hell? Does Disney really just have to milk every little synth they can? You don't understand, Cobalt. 2.8, <laughs> the final chapter prologue, is going to be the definitive Kingdom Hearts work in the Kingdom Hearts universe. Why doesn't my own seed work for the thing I'm doing right now? <clears throat> what do you mean? Wow! I don't know. I got mad soul hearts, though. Is it S S1, J1, H1? S1, right? V1. 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 Everybody yeah. in my chat saying the wrong thing then. That's silly. V1. Dez hurts. Full of smelly trolls. Thank you very much for the subscription. Cobalt is too loud. Let me go turn. Let me fix that. Sorry. Oh, geez, you scared me, Kate. Thank you, Migs, for the two months in a row resubscriptions. <laughs> Sorry, what? Ruka and Tomo are on sale. <laughs> They're on sale? Ruka and Tomo are on sale because they were bad cats last night. Sorry, I just got banned from your chat, Nick. No, that's well deserved. Cats. That's okay. <laughs> I know the difference. They were just they were going buck wild. It was like a you know a roller coaster or something. They were just running around at five in the morning, like getting under our bed frame and then attacking each other, so we could like feel it on the bed frame at five in the morning. Like <laughs> oh, they were thumping oh, with their back feet, probably. Exactly. They're just Cats being love that. they're being jerks. Don't they know summer's over? Okay. Yeah. Gotta go to school. Back to school, cats. <laughs> that oh sounds like a movie. Of summer. Like a, back to school, like bad <laughs> back to school cats. Air bud. Oh, man. All dogs go to heaven and back to school cats. Let's go. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, it's the mid '90s all over again. This is like, do you guys have this Judas run with Tough Love? Like, it, yeah. When you turn sideways, especially when you turn to the right, your the face looks lip. so good. Yay! <laughs> He's like, I don't even know how to describe it. Lip. It's just really good. The water boy lip. Yeah, that's exactly the what it is. He's got the lip. Brian Boucher. Brian? You mean Bobby? Oh, so, oh, geez. Brian Boucher was a former goalie for the wow. Philadelphia Flyers. My mistake. <laughs> Arivana, Arivana, 19. Thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Oh. Do we have spiders no on this first floor? Isaac, anytime soon, guys. I see that question. I, uh, I'm still enjoying the base game, as sad as that is, 1,400 hours later. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. I know I'm crazy. I play it, like, every day for hours, but I've got no complaints right now. I'm Do you ever have to defend yourself and be like, you know, no, so for real, I actually like it. It's not just, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's not just economics. Well, I tell them, I'm like, when I get really bored of it, I play another game. I do. I play other stuff, you know, and... I beat a game and I come back like reinvigorated and ready to to kill some mom again. That's how I feel like whenever I'm away from the house for like a week, I come back and I'm like, oh man, can't wait to like you know get back into my daily Isaac habit again. It's like meditation yeah. or something. It's just I've done it so many times at this point. It's just part of my daily life. It, it's like I I think of it like a crossword puzzle or something like that. You know, like a retiree oh, yeah. is gonna do like Sudoku with the coffee when they wake up. That's that's how I feel about yeah, Isaac. Is like I can't really start my day until I've done a couple of Isaac runs just to get my brain warmed up. Adult Swim does crossword puzzles on Twitch, and it's actually really fun. That is actually cool. I've helped them solve them a couple times, and I feel like I'm part of the crew now. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot Let's the see what Krampus brings us today. Oh no. Oh wait, you're, well, you're so far yet, ahead. <laughs> I'm only I'm only on the second floor, boss. So what? Yeah, I started late. Why do you think you got well, Krampus then? What's your What's your reasoning? No, I just he's associated with the devil deals. Oh, so. I see. Okay. You just expect Blame to run him. into him constantly. I understand. Hmm. Lord Squeezy. I thought you knew something I didn't. I really oh, wish we got boy. some health, though. Nah, it's, this is a good run, man. Yeah, I gotta live long enough for it to be a good run, though. Oh, I did that wrong. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. That's uh, what people are saying I did it wrong, too, but I don't think I did it wrong. I did it wrong because I can't take the cat now because I'm an idiot. Oh, okay. See, chat? I'm not ragging on you, Cobalt. Cobalt did it wrong. I did it right. Uh. I think. I could get back into the room, but it's not going to help me. I realized too late. I should have took the cat first and then just killed myself a million <laughs> times. Fudge. No bombs, okay, six whatever. keys. Whatever, boys. We're going to go Judas. We don't need Guppy. Well, if it's any consolation, I mean, I took nine lives, and now I'm on the shop walking into the fire nine times. In mm -hmm. order, nine, nine times two times to kill myself so I can come back as Dark Judas because nine lives always resolves first. Yeah, Judas is always last, so in, in all the orders. Chat, are you mad because I didn't take the shovel from the shop? Or from the, <laughs> the deal with the devil? Come on now, that's just ridiculous. What am I going to do with the freaking the shovel? shovel? You hey, could have is... gotten the shovel for no reason. That's not hey, fair. I could maybe that. get cool. a health and do it. I don't know. If I find an eternal heart somewhere on the floor, like in the secret room. My chat wants me to ask you, Ryan, what beating Mega Satan puts on the post-it note. And I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but I have beaten Mega Satan before. It's not that hard. <laughs> does Mega Satan? It puts a star on the post-it note. No, that's boss I don't think rush, it right? Does wow. anything? I don't it think gives it gives you the one ending, it. and that's it. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't unlock anything. I think they're gonna fix that or change it though. Raven Meister and NL kills dogs in Fallout. Thank you very much for the. Subscription. Clarification. <laughs> it was not a bad idea to take nine lives anyway. People were like, well, why are you going to take nine lives if you're just going to kill yourself nine times? It's the guppy item, dog. Because you can get guppy Reno. Exactly. It's a huge advantage. Chat, I think... Is that Edmund tweeted today? Sometimes you just want to be mad, chat. Yeah, sometimes you just want to be mad. What, what did Edmund tweet today? Somebody asked him, like, hey, it'd be really sweet if the new Nintendo NX was, like, a portable Nintendo machine and it had uh, Metroid Maker and Zelda Maker or something like that. 
and tweeted that to Tyrone and was like, hey, can you make an Isaac maker too? Yeah. And then Edmund <laughs> replied to that and was like, there there might be bubblings that this could be a DLC option. Really? I don't know if that was just some kind of what? like little cheeky thing to say because it <laughs> seems really improbable, but also weird. Yes, Edmund. What? Don't forget, <laughs> you're here forever. Just keep making more Isaacs. <laughs> I thought they were done after this DLC, that they are going to work on it and... Chat, and go find the tweet and post it in my chat. I want to I want to see your reactions to it. So the, the phrasing was surprisingly open. We're, we're all in far too deep to ever stop playing or making Isaacs uh, now. Imagine your viewers making floors for you. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <I> feel <laughs> the pain. Now you've just made me not want this to exist. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, oh look, Cobalt, you get the lost and uh, you get no damage. <laughs> I hope we get to at least have autonomy over what character we pick. Jeez. That's rough. NL, did you see Where the tweet from happen? Tyrone? Oh, I didn't. What kind of bullshit did Tyrone tweet today? He's the master troll. People don't even understand. You and I talk about this. People take. I, Mathis yesterday was like, You have Afterbirth, right? And I was like, Nah, man. And then he's like, "Well, I saw that Cobalt has it. Like, you gotta, you gotta stop trusting those Tyrone tweets." Oh my god! It, the rumors are spreading around, and then it gets well, put right on the now, subreddit. You're yourself. It gets put yeah, on the subreddit. Yeah, we had him on. Uh, I had him on Skype. He had that is a crazy man. He was talking about <laughs> cock rings and all sorts <laughs> of stuff. Crazy man. He was narrating my Isaac run, and it was interesting to say the least. Oh, around these parts, cock rings are not that controversial. I don't even remember how the cock ring was brought up. He just threw it out there, and I was like, let's roll with it. All right. So Judas comes before Guppy or after? After. Always, It's always at the end of whatever lives you have. Oh, I didn't. Oh, so, I did it wrong then. So Judas. Damn it. Well, no, it doesn't matter. Like, did you mean in terms of picking it up or in terms of when you When become... you proc it, it's when always it last. So I know whether or not I'm going to get to ever use it this run, and I'm, I guess I'm not going to Well, I mean, no matter what order you took it in, it would have... Uh... It would yeah, have been like it would that. always be last. I guess you could have just taken Judas' like, shadow, but... I could have died and then gone back as Judas to get the nine lives. That is genius, actually. You need a heart, though. Uh, You'd have to uh, left a heart on the ground to, to take the right, devil deal. Right, right, Okay, you're right. That's, still... that's why I was bitching. If you could do it, though, that's pretty smart. Yeah, you'd have to have known about it or preemptively left yeah. that heart on the ground. And actually, if you left one of the hearts on the ground... No, you had two. Yeah, that would have worked. You'd have to left like the less than three on the ground or whatever. I was just excited because I had Book of Belial, so the door would have stayed oh, open. So I thought I could have expected yeah. that. Nah, the best plan: take nine lives, take Judas a shadow, and then just wow. walk into the shop fire eighteen times. Then you spawn as Dark Judas. There you go. <laughs> it works, man. That's what I <laughs> That's did. Right, I'm you not get even... that free guppy piece. It's so much work, but it's worth it. You get the guppy piece, and you you're gonna be Dark Judas the same amount of HP anyway. Thank you to the Demon Falf for the subscription. Much appreciated. What is a Fulf? F F F O L F. Fulf. Might might be a, a word that I'm unfamiliar with, or it might be a, a namesake. Fulf. I don't know. Fulf. It, it hey, does Evie. come off the tongue easily. Pro phrasing maybe a little bit there, but rolls off the the tongue. Rolls off the tip. Just the tip. Phrasing a little bit there. <laughs> so Judas' shadow is always the last. Always last. That's actually really good Line. to know. Wouldn't it be sweet as when you hit start, it would show you a timeline of what all your procs are for like rebirth items? What do you mean? Because you could have like the Ankh, you could have a one up, you could have all this shit. Like if you could just see a <laughs> yeah. list of when they would be in order, that would I be kind of nice. I think they're pre, yeah, they're pre-ordered on top of each other. Yeah, and maybe when you picked up an item, it would just give you your chances of winning the game, and you could hit a button and just resolve it and see like if you if you won, if you pick up the items necessary to win. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah, you could just buy the game and then it would already be finished for you. And maybe you, you could like play itself. Play it. I wasted a bomb, and I knew I was wasting the bomb right after I did it because it was a bomb rock. And I did make a bridge. Exactly the same thing. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I put Damn it down, it. I was like, that was stupid. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's got a big old bomb in that, that rock <laughs> chunk. Sorry, I think you mean a big old clock, right? Yep, that's right. I was on social media today. <laughs> you know, I saw that story last night, and I was like, yeah, this is a thing people are going to talk about, and then I was exactly right. Yep, you are correct. Have, have you guys seen the uh, the image that 
the, the comic that was made into a a gif of mom like the whole Isaac story. Oh, the you suffering know? of Isaac. Yeah, the suffering of Isaac. Yeah. I haven't uh, I haven't looked at it yet, but I've I've seen it linked around. It's really cool, actually. If you just like, well, it's very uh very interesting. I really I like the game theorist episode of this. Edmund and them. Apparently it's fan made, so. Now that it has uh, your blessing, I will I will look at it. That's pretty neato. It had like three thousand retweets or something. That is extraordinary. Yeah. That's three thousand people that know about this game. Wow. <laughs> and I didn't even retweet it. I'm only good for like probably like fifty on a good day if people <laughs> really like it. You know. Maybe, maybe a hundred <laughs> if you drew a picture of Donald Trump in MS Paint like Nick. And just add it on to the uh, end of the GIF. I think I got close to a thousand. Actually. You got close to a thousand on that Donald Trump picture? I think so. Oh it my! Went nuts, man. Good God! It was either that or the the Jim Carrey one. One of them got really, really high in the numbers. I really like the Jim Carrey one. We we've said this before, but I love the the Phil Fish one. How it had like two waves. It was like first yeah. it got the retweets, and then when the fake Phil Fish account said <laughs> you're you're a like piece of garbage, people were yeah. like. Wow! Like, look at this asshole! <laughs> that was so good. The troll was so perfect because it was like a reverse troll of what he would actually do. Yeah, it was It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was one of those very beautiful emergent moments that could only happen on Twitter, thanks to your silly people. Before yeah. I say what I'm about to say, I want to say that, of course, this child who built a clock got arrested because the school thought it was a bomb story of course it's ridiculous okay and and there's it's just completely loaded with all sorts of various prickly subjects but when all the tweets were coming out today they were like you know president obama tweets like hey ahmed we'd love to see your clock at the white house and then like chris hadfield is like hey ahmed why don't you come to toronto and show me your clock i was like so close to tweeting like hey ahmed like we're big fans of clocks. Why don't you come on the NLSS today? But I was like, this is gonna, <laughs> this is totally gonna blow up in my face, and people aren't gonna get it, and I'm gonna get dragged into some kind of shitstorm. And but I was so, I was like, it'll be so good. It'll if it it's, works, it'll be so you know, good. It's about 0.5 percent edgier than I think you're allowed to be. I think that's correct. 0.5. Yeah. It's so close, but it's it's just <laughs> right over the edge. It's right on the borderline. That's just, I was, mm. But then I was yeah, like, shit, what if he yes. says yes? That's gonna be like... Oh, he would've said yes. That'll be an interesting segment. Blow been, up in your face? Oh, no, I've already oh. done it, haven't I? That's not what I meant. Hey, now, you're putting words in my mouth. Now, I now, I didn't hair. say that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus, I don't usually brush my hair. Turn are you wet the weird hair comments? Hair. People are like, do 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 I wet my hair once because it was hot out and people wouldn't stop talking about it for like a week. It's it's wet and brushed right now, so it's like the double yeah. threat. <laughs> yeah. Too you much like for people. The cutest nerd right now. I went like, Damn. like I shaved fun. once after PAX, and then had not shaved since then. So we're going on like ten days, twelve days, and we were recording our podcast yesterday. I'm like, I gotta shave because every time I look in the mirror, I look like like a slightly skinnier George Costanza. It's like I. You know, when you're bald, you don't know how bald you're getting, because you're bald. You're already there. But then when you let it grow back, you're like, I'm in full Andre Agassi territory right now. It's just that one cheek, really, that you were upset about. Well, no, I mean, I was talking about the, the face, specifically. Yeah. Or not that the face, sorry, the head. Sucks. You say, what sucks? been in this arcade? This arcade, I did not What's go wrong to the arcade. With it? Is it a Nick uh, arcade? <laughs> it, it only has a tempers machine in it, because it's a seated run. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh, I almost fell into the trap that you did with the putting the bomb down and then wasting it. Yeah. I thought about it another second, though, and I stopped myself. It's quite unfortunate. <laughs> NL kills dogs. Just subscribed. <laughs> that's True. Now, that's I didn't say that. You're putting yeah, words in my mouth. <laughs> that was in self-defense. Thanks for the Yeah, sub. the first time. Every other time it wasn't. <laughs> Well then, I couldn't. I couldn't go back on it. You know, I was Started already calling it sport. It was part of the joke. The mangier the dog looks, the easier it is to kill and fall. Wow! Out. I am not touching that one. <laughs> I will say there was one moment in Fallout New Vegas where I was like, "It's gone too far." Like I, I emerged from some kind of vault or something, and then like I got attacked by a bunch of wolf cubs. 
<laughs> oh, slaughtered them man. with like my my laser gun, and then I was like, they make like a whimpering sound when they die. I was like, oh, yeah. this, this doesn't feel right. But were they you were using just your bare hands for pleasure, or no? Pardon me. I thought you use your bare hands for pleasure when you're fighting dogs. Oh, uh, if you use the laser gun, it cooks them automatically, so you can eat them right away when you're done. Oh, dog. good, cooked dog. Well, Locked and you guys up, think yeah. I'm the the evil one? I'm. The only people I eat are Caesar's Legion, and they are asking for it. I just walked up into their base and just slaughtered them all without Boone, and then he's like, "We're getting close. I'm gonna kill any, <laughs> any legionaries once we're there." And I'm like, "Bro, they're dead." Okay. Yeah. You're <laughs> Having some kind of like denial or something here. Light cool B, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. How many hours and he still misses tinted rocks? Hey, how many freaking hours of watching and yet you still expect me to get tinted rocks? We're both <laughs> on the same level of that Einstein quote. Yo, if I don't need tinted rocks to win, I'm just gonna save them for the next person. What floor are you guys on? I'm like caves two or two. depths one. Depths one. Okay. Ah, I should have said womb two just to fuck with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, why not? Let's get weird. I don't like when NL gets weird. It's usually <laughs> like soy milk or Ludo or tiny plants. No, <laughs> no, I took uh, I took tech two. Oh. I usually think when he says that, it's like, oh, I'm going to D6 this or, like, go into a dice room for a polyphemus, like, mom's knife, some crazy shit. Just get rid of it. Because mm. it couldn't get better, but it, it will. Now, you always got to you gotta reroll, because every time you reroll into something worse, you get a token for the reroll gods. And then you can use that when you yeah. have a totally crappy run and reroll your run into a good run. That's the way I justify it, at least. Yeah, science. Ex yeah, exactly. <laughs> Observable... Scientific phenomenon. You've heard those motherfuckers are lying and getting me pissed. Why they are them? just, that's all they do. Scientists are the ultimate trolls. They're always lying. We got a cure for cancer. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, you fell for that shit again. <laughs> Eggs are good for you. Eggs are bad for you. I'm kidding. Potatoes are good for you. Potatoes, Potatoes are, are bad for you. you. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're basically yeah. that insult comic dog. They re yeah, exactly. Scientists will poop on you. <laughs> Penicillin is good for me to poop on. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. Uh, I need more bombs. All these pranks are hell on my back, boss. I still like it. Mm. Nuns have it or my bombs are doubling. No, um, I gra I'd grab the habit. But yeah, that's up to you. I'm actually out of bombs right now, so go Whoopi Goldberg on this one. <laughs> Little known fact: Whoopi Goldberg, not an actual nun. I like Sister Act, though. Is that true? Yeah, great movie. I've never seen it actually, but one of the my first friends. First one or the second one, or all of them? The first one is the best. I okay. prefer Sister Act, thirty-three and a third. Is there more than two? I think there's only two. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised I, I didn't if think they made it past the second one. Like it a, seems like one of those movies that Whoopi Goldberg wouldn't have been in the third one, but yeah, it still I was, came out anyway. I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing. Is they'd they'd make it with like the girl who played her daughter in Rat Race, and then she'd be like young Whoopi Goldberg trying to find her way into the convent again or something. Yeah. <laughs> they would just speak of her character like once, and that would be it. <laughs> it or they'd it's like, like do the thing they do where they like look at a picture of her, and they're like, yeah, ever since the accident, you know, the <laughs> right. convent hasn't been the yeah. same. <laughs> Catholic School of Rock is basically what Sister Act Two is. <laughs> I've I've never it's seen it. Title, actually. Is is it worth seeing it in 2015? The second one is damn not yeah. Damn Make yeah. Box <laughs> underhanded for the sub, by the way. Appreciate that. It's um. Wow. No, the first one's good. I like the first one. Maybe it's just nostalgia. I should probably go back and watch it again. They sing real good. I feel like it's right up there with like Home Alone 2 in the like classic movies of your childhood. What? Home Alone 2 is so much worse than Home Alone 1. Absolutely I love not Home true. Alone 2. 2 is the best. You guys are so fucking high. Now all. you're going to tell me Home Alone 3 is great. No, I don't care about 3, but number is 2 is the best the one series. With the other kid? Is yeah, it's got a new one? kid and like that, that weird looking dude That's from awful. Third Rock from the Sun is in it. I was excited about that and then I watched it and I was like this has ruined my childhood. 
Clock's underhanded. Thank you for the subscription before I go on a tangent here. I have a great story about, um, it's, you know, the, the innocence of, of youth. Um, yet at that age where you're not, not uh, a girl but not yet a woman, I went yeah. to a birthday party. It must have been like the year 2000, 99, something like that. And um, the kids were like, hey, my dad's not going to be home. Let's rent Scream 2 from the video store and watch that, it, even though it's rated R. Because it, it was <laughs> back in the Wild West, you know, people weren't checking those ages. And then um, I was like, oh, I don't know, guys. Like, my parents wouldn't be happy if they knew I watched an R-rated movie. My parents so... have a chip <laughs> Guys, we already have the small rock from the Tinted Rock. I maxed out on Soul Heart, so the best we can hope for is a bomb and a key. So why waste a bomb on that Tinted Rock? Just saying. There you go. Instead of renting um, Scream 2, I put up enough of a fight, and they're like, all right, fine. And then we rented... Fucking Home Alone 3. Oh no. That was Wait, your friends put up with that shit? Yes. I, I guess I, I had enough clout awesome in friends. my in my friend community to be like, come on. Guys, would our parents really our parents trusted us this weekend. <laughs> 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 but then I also did not want to see Home Alone 3. Because I was still like a little version of my current self. I was like, I'm pretty sure Home Alone 3 is gonna be shitty. But they were like, nah, we're gonna get Home Alone 3. That's like the second movie we want to watch. And I don't think they were punishing me. I think it's Wah. just... That really goes to show you, like, what, like, 11-year-old boys are like. Is like, I want to see breasts and murder, but if not, I'll settle for the direct-to-video <laughs> sequel to one of the favorite movies from my childhood. Never too young to have some nostalgia, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm oh, did you... D6 it. room? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I had a pill drop from an item, and then it turned to a card in front of my eyes. I've never seen that before. Oh, you got started. Oh deck. boy. What I am it. I? I have death touch. What the hell? But I have. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you and I may have had similar reactions to our our rerolls. <laughs> I have a little brimstone, but he's like way in the back. Yeah. I think like it's triple shot death touch shielded tears or something. Yeah, with my reflection and a magic mushroom and sad bombs. Oh yeah, sad bombs. The sad bombs are pretty pretty awesome they look like a, a flexing rim oh my goodness what, <laughs> what is, is a this? flexing rim what is a i was flex? gonna say a <laughs> fucker <laughs> you, we can't leave it off like sorry oh. it looks like a fucker okay okay <laughs> that's a flexing G rim gg that's oh. the rim after you roll it up oh I guess. lord that too <laughs> I don't have enough money for that. <laughs> They're speechless. Usually you guys are the ones that are making me speechless. I don't know, the, the, just the phrasing, flexing rim, is so good. It's like it just hints at butthole in such a subtle way. <laughs> you never really think about normally. He pushed his love goiter past the lips <laughs> of my flexing rim. <laughs> It's that kind of thing. It's the, what is it, the Fifty Shades generator it, kind it of thing. It feels like a lot. Super creative. A lot like the Fifty Shades. It, just, it does look like an asshole puckering. I just dro <laughs> dropped one, and I was like, yeah. I just <laughs> dropped one, guys, just so you know. You it, it, it's room. so open at first, and then it just shrinks <laughs> as it puckers. That's how his fingers oh, go, Oh, why? Man. It's in their nature to flex. It's definitely true. Did you guys ever notice that when the the mega fatty jumps, he's rubbing his nipples? <laughs> oh, no? you never I noticed that the other day. I have never. His belly button also glows in Curse of the Darkness. I have no... what? Wow. Yes. This is uncomfortable. This guy's got a lot going on. I've never heard about. All right. Well, now I'm very excited to fight Mega Fatty at some point. Maybe on the cathedral oh, we'll get uh, one of those. Uh, what? <gasps> I've yeah, I've learned a, quite a lot me. today. Oh wow. Glad I showed up. He does rub his nipples to charge up. I'm not lying. I so believe he's you. The chat. He's generous. You watch him do it for five minutes straight once. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Austin Powers used to rub his nipples so much, because of all the hair around it causes the static to build up. Yeah, and then he can zap the fembots. People. Yep. 
by overloading their libido chips. <laughs> the I chip. forgot all about that movie. Oh, pardon me, you forgot you all about Austin, Austin Powers? Powers? Yeah, I need to rewatch those. Oh yeah, Absolutely, man. Absolutely. All do. except Goldmember. Yeah, that one was the, sh the shit one. It was fine except for the rap part. God, Goldmember is gold. real bad, man. And I say that as a devoted Michael Caine. -y. Are you a Caney in training? I'm no, I'm I'm a certified junior level Caney. It's okay. I'm actually Elegy Blah. Uh, Elegy of Games is my name. I get it. Kappa. No, he. I was at the. <laughs> I was at a um, a bar hanging out with him, and I walked up to him, say hi, and he was like, Elegy? Was like, <laughs> no. I wouldn't be able to resist I... <laughs> saying Elegy the elephant. See him blow butterflies everywhere. Watch them go. But he wouldn't get it, and then he'd think I'm an idiot. Yeah, that'd be real weird. Yep. He'd be like, oh, okay, dude, see you later. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> he did guess Elegy first. <laughs> this is why I should it's never okay. go out in public. Can we I'm ban... i with Northern Lion as well. What? Can we ban NL from watching movies? Yo, you can't think Goldmember's the best. I'll accept Nick's Goldmember's all right. Except for the rap part. Okay, the rap part is indefensible. But... It's real embarrassing, actually. Yeah. Let's not all forget about Fat Bastard, though. He, I mean, I think Fat Bastard is like the jumping the shark moment, but I still kind of like the spy who shagged me in spite, well, maybe because of it, but then it's like he plays a much larger role. Yeah. He's a sumo well, wrestler, and you know, yeah, I get I kind of like how both Austin Powers 3 and Men in Black 3 share the same contextualization of their major protagonist. Uh, it sort of gives you some background into the characterization behind their family life, and I think that's kind of important if you really want to believe in that character more. Austin Powers is funny because he's he's got a British accent. Oh, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's but the, you got you have to find out where the British accent came from, and that's I guess that. I guess so. That's the plot of Austin Powers. Is Austin Powers speaks <laughs> with an accent? He also has bad teeth, right? Because Austin Powers awesome. also has bad teeth. Yes. Ouch. Yeah. He has bad teeth, and he's played by Mike Myers, who is a Canadian idol, and, uh... I played your chat like a fiddle. They reacted exactly how I intended them to react to what I just said. <laughs> Too many big words, now they're angry. We don't need... The world does not need a think piece about Austin Powers 3, gold member. I wouldn't mind if there was one, like, on Polygon or something. The second one wasn't even, like... Bad at all. I like the second one a lot. The second Just one's alright. I used to own both of those movies on like VHS, I think it was. Jesus. Yeah, no, VHS is definitely the way of choice for the first one. The second one, though, you're like borderline DVD territory. Yeah, the Spy Who Shagged Me was one of the first movies I ever bought on DVD. It was Good. like The Matrix and The Spy Who Shagged Me. Hopefully together in a combo pack at Walmart. No, it was like pre, pre that. We were still paying like 40 bucks a DVD. Oh, Blu-ray costs. Even yeah, those are like 20 bucks now. Yeah, Blu-rays, they're coming down. Which makes sense when you can like rent a 4K version of the movie digitally for like $6. They have $6. Them PlayStations too, right? Yeah. They're like already just in there, so you don't even need to buy one if you already are a video game enthusiast. I have all of them on Blu-ray and DVD, and I watch that <laughs> shit every day. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that is troubling. Uh I think that's a lie, but uh, it's all. I hope it's I a lie. Through. I will say that, like in my seventh grade summer vacation, for a couple weeks, I did watch The Spy Who Shagged Me every day. I, I don't even know watch why. The third Jedi movie or um, uh, Star the new Wars. Star Wars movie, yeah. like on repeat for a week straight. Which one? The third one, the, the oh. one where he turns into Darth Vader. Well, hey now, it's not everyone's seen it. Episode Let's... three. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've only seen that one once, but you know what? I I, I kind of liked it at the time. I think it was the best of the prequels. I agree. I think so, too. The other two I hated. Two was awful. One was, like, pretty bad. That is my, Jar Jar in it my is exact awful. ranking. Three's okay, but then I have to we, we get into this thing, because now I'm like, but I, Return of the Jedi sucks, too. And then people are like, Doach, dude. Yeah, now you've done it. Return of the Jedi doesn't suck, man. Now we got to have this conversation again. <laughs> I think Return oh, of the Jedi God. Sucks. Boba Fett goes out like a little bitch. I know he doesn't die because of, you know, canon. Because he's so marketable. But still. Yeah. He's got uh, merchandise protection. Sl I know he's got the Slave 2. He gets saved from the Sarlacc pit. I'm just saying. 
It doesn't matter if he was that. dismembered in front of the viewing audience, he would still live. That's just my assertion. Yeah, Boba, Boba Fett has to live. Otherwise, he doesn't... Like, if he doesn't there live... There's a secret Boba Fett twin that you didn't know about. <laughs> sure, we'd never know the difference either. That's, that is that's fair. frozen like Han Solo in the Jabba Cave, okay? For safekeeping. I and haven't seen... Psycho 34 for 11 months of subscriptions! I haven't he seen was... any Star Wars... He does rub his nipples. I told you! I did not believe you. I haven't seen any Star Wars movies. How old am I? You might be like an 18th century oil baron or something from from Wales. Boba Fett is actually Little Hunter from Nuclear Throne. I've been telling you guys. I actually had a moment a couple months ago where I really wanted to watch Austin Powers 1 again. And I have a DVD of it. And yeah. it just wouldn't work in any of my devices. I've got about 20 different devices that can play a DVD, and none of them would play it. It kept skipping and shit. I, and I, I have a really feeling that at that point it might be the DVD's fault, Nick. Yeah, uh, it wasn't, because I put it in my computer, and it ran. <laughs> what? It was like some weird, like, 1997-era yeah, encryption that they don't, like, use anymore. I have no idea, but I guess none of those drives spun fast enough to read the data off this fucking DVD. Awesome so Powers like, 1 is decided. classic, man. They did the thing where it had the widescreen on one side and the letterbox oh, yes. on the other. And I guess that's like a lot for some drives, maybe? Mm. Or maybe all my devices are dying. I don't know. It could be that, too. I only have that issue with my um, completely ripped that I uh, copies that I bought from a guy that I worked with at a restaurant. <laughs> so. Why yeah, would you ever luck. buy <laughs> pirated DVDs? I don't do it anymore. Well, I mean, I'm like, not even like... For me, if you're gonna pirate, whatever. But like, why would you buy a pirated DVD? You could just pirate <laughs> it yourself. Right there. They were new movies. They were five bucks. Okay, like. I mean, it's pretty. Che I guess for a convenience level, you got it. But yeah. Did he at least have a trench coat that he opened up, and it was full of just individual discs. No, uh, he kept them in his trunk. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's almost more stereotypical. I think I told this. Uh, I told this story on the show before, but. In 11th grade, our history teacher, like, Troy had just come out. But our history teacher had, like, a brother who was teaching ESL in China or something like that. And he bought a pirated copy of Troy uh, and then sent it to her in the mail, which I don't know if you could, like, get in trouble for that. But anyway, he didn't, I guess. <laughs> and um, when he booted it up, the menu screen, like, had the letters phase in super slowly. So it was like, T, O, This is exciting. R. Why? Tory. Tory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it was Troy. It was the film Troy, so. The hell? Somebody got really excited. They figured out how to make this animation. And they're like, <laughs> we're going to bring this to the world of pirated movies and innovate. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, it had like a menu screen and everything. It wasn't just like a, just a regular DVD. Uh. Oh, man. Come here. Oh, six. Finally. Oh, I guess you've all done the six room already. Was it worth it? Yeah. Alright. Now um, I'm just my doing... reflection's being really annoying right now, but that's okay. I'm doing like unlimited chests because of uh undefined. Oh man. Ooh. Might as the well. The sad bombs is amazing. I didn't find an undefined yet. Maybe it's in one of these little four guys. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, hello. Pretty solid reroll. I'm happy with it. Yeah, it was a great one. We're going to take the sun card and the perthro rune. Oh, Lord. Wait. Holy oh, moly. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Damn it. Oh, my God. The sad bombs are so good, man. With with Strange Attractor, it, like, <laughs> sucks all the enemies into it and then just spits out a bunch of parasite tears. It's the world's most... Dangerous reactor. I got the explosive diarrhea pill while I was in the room where I got the D6, and it just oh, dropped yeah. a ton of them, and it made a really silly thing happen. What was the item in here? Sad bombs. Oh man, my oh. item tracker actually knows that it switched all the items out. That's so good. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect it to do that. Yeah, I need to figure out how easy it's going to be to update that when Afterbirth comes out to see if I can have a tracker. 
supposed to have it in it. Maybe. Oh, it's supposed oh. to have an item tracker in it? Yep, I oh, believe so. That. Really? Where's that gonna be at? Oh. I thought it was like, they said it was gonna be one of the view mods or something like that. Okay. I don't know. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. That, I mean, that's the thing as well. I mean, there is an item tracker in the game right now. It just is like, kind of 50-50. <laughs> yeah. Especially with rerolls. True. Dang it, give me an air room. How is NL not laughing his ass off? This is just another day at the office for me right now. Stand, you know, sad bomb, strange attractor, no problems. Thank you, skinnies, for the resub. Nine months in a row, we need to name a baby. Bartholomew. You That's a nice name. Tori is a good one. Tori's pretty good, <laughs> yeah. Tori Bartholomew. It's a great name. You call him Lip Nicky? Lip Nicky, yeah. As a first name, just Lip Nicky. Yeah, Lip Nicky Jonathan. <laughs> Middle name, With the Japanese way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could just see that in anime, too, where all the characters keep referring to him that way. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna get an air room here. Keep going, don't listen to chat. I'm I'm gonna keep going. You gotta keep no going. No deal! Does not help you. Yeah, of course. I gotta see if I can get uh, like non-stop air rooms. I mean I do have a habit. How do you guys feel about cheaper by the dozen? How do you that think I feel about it? Cheaper by the dozen. Big man Tyrone XX Internet XX. Take take a guess about how I feel about Cheaper by the Dozen. Do I know who that is in that movie? The the film Cheaper by the Dozen and Cheaper yeah, by the like Dozen an old too. Movie with, uh, with Hillary like Duff. Army people. What? Army people. Army people. Is it not army people that like, of... go and fight and be in That's small Full soldiers. Metal Jacket, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how'd you get those? Can... I don't know. That's great. I've only seen him like once or <laughs> twice. I've seen okay. I've seen Full Melt Jacket like five times. What? How did you get it Such confused a movie. with Cheaper by the Dozen? There is a Cheaper by the Dozen movie at some or somewhere about the oh, it's the Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen. That the Dirty Dozen is in World War yeah. Two. Koval. It's not in yeah, Vietnam. That. Science and math history. <laughs> did they suck a golf ball through a garden hose too? I thought you were talking about Hillary Duff in Cheaper by the Dozen there for a minute, and I was like, Nick, that's come on now. She's Thinking a married Mary woman. Jane Rotten crotch. She's a married woman. This is my habit working. Maybe you rerolled the habit. My habit working. Oh my god, I d6ed it. Yeah. Oh, that's why. That. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You guys want me to draw Lip Nicky during feud? I you could draw Jonathan Lip Nicky if you want. Draw his. Yeah, nice. He'd give you a two-parter. You'll do like him as a child, and then him in all those like clickbait ads where it's like you'll never guess what celebrities grew up hot. And then he's got like he's holding like thirty-five pound dumbbells. I'm just gonna draw his lips. His name is Lip Nicky. It's really weird how some items will stay through the rolls, but some items won't. Like soy milk will not go away. Neither will Judas's shadow. The soy milk is a curse. <laughs> Yeah, you think you can roll that away? Like, think <laughs> again. It's there to stay. Come on, come on. Damn it! Well, my run's over. Like, you're gonna win. I didn't get, I didn't get one air room. What? I'm on, like, chest number five or something. Not one. It's bad luck. GG. I'm, uh, I got like two more cracks probably at getting an error room, and then I'm gonna be out as well. And I'm just on the utero one right now, so. <laughs> Hot damn. You'll have your chance, Nick. No, that's no error room. That's a problem. How do you feel about small soldiers? Josh really we likes it. We talked about that so much. Didn't though. that guy die during the making of that movie? Phil Harmon. You're thinking of, uh, yeah. Wizard of Oz. No, that's well. I mean, also yes. Oh, well, the crow too, but yeah, also the crow. And um, uh, Rush Hour too. What? Who died Who in died Rush Hour? Rush hour? Jackie Chan. Oh, oh okay. rip! 
And then they had to replace him with CGI Jackie Chan from Jackie Chan Adventures for PS1 yeah. for Rush Hour Never 3. Good. Everyone knew. It wasn't the same. That part. Rip. How do you feel about your small soldier? Pardon me? We call it a love goiter Talking now. about your little pee. If you're not going to call it a love goiter, here. don't even show up. Ooh, a goat head. Don't you dish Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2 is not good. Don't dish it. Rush Hour 1 was like, okay. Yeah, Rush Hour 1 was alright. I like it. Fucking, there is like a whole genre in like the late 90s that was like... Shanghai News? Yeah, it was just Jackie Chan and then some guy who is American. It was the yeah. whole genre. <laughs> And Owen, they spawned Owen like Wilson eight movies. Owen Wilson, yeah. <laughs> I Dude, watched that the other day. You watched that the other day. Shanghai Noon. What about Shanghai Twelve Thirty? The sequel. The it goes sequel. On they keep it going so. half an hour increments. There's uh, Shanghai Nights was the second one, right? Oh, they made a second one. I, I There's a second one, joke, man. Actually. Oh my gosh. Shanghai Nights from 2003. It's got a 6.2 on IMDb. Okay, I really liked Wild Wild West, so... <laughs> that doesn't have Jackie Chan in it, though. No, but they're in chat saying... Asking if I liked it. But I guess it's just because it's a 90s Western movie. I like it, the song I, about I, it better than the actual movie. It's a good song. I was in 6th grade, and it was... I saw it in the movie theater, and it was awesome. Considering the, the time frame, I'm just reading the Wikipedia article for Shanghai Nights right now. It's pretty good. What's good about it? It's no Sunday horse, I imagine. <laughs> it has a 66 on Rotten Tomatoes. A third film was meant to be produced under the title Shanghai Dawn. I love the idea that these could be like the parallels to Richard Linklater's like before dawn or after dawn on you know <laughs> you know what I mean before yeah. sunset before sunrise uh, but uh, you just that's the best film uh, sextilogy you could watch there you start with Shanghai Noon then before sunset then Shanghai Nights then before sunrise <laughs> and then Shanghai Dawn and then uh, before way too much. before lunch, I've yeah, I've gone I agree too with deep. Balls way too much. I've gone too deep into the joke. I can't I can't get out. I'm in the subatomic realm. Yeah, wake up, wake me up inside. <laughs> we're all we're all here. Ah, <sighs> well, Nick, where are you at on your run? I'm in the uh, womb too. All right, I'll do like a nuclear throne run or something like that. Wait, sure. you should look up the Sunday horse before you stop because I think you're gonna really enjoy the articles about it. What is the Sunday horse? I want you to see firsthand because if no, I try and I'll tell you what, we're not. Be... I don't negotiate with conversational terrorists like yeah, that. Okay. What is the Sunday horse? Then I'll look it up. It's, it's, it's just the whole premise. You have to read the way it's they pick. It's just the whole premise. The, what does the this mean? The premise is there's like this woman and a horse, and this thing happens, and I don't even know how to describe it properly. But the premise is so funny. You've made it a hundred times less likely for me to Google it by know, saying it's a I woman and a horse, and me, something man. happens. We should all play Fraction Frog or Frog Factions too. <laughs> I'm so much less likely to click on it again because Rob is the only person in your chat going in my chat, I should say, going. Oh yeah, Sunday Horse is good. No, he knows about Sunday Horse. He's the one that found it. Yes, I know. This is amazing. precisely why that I'm not gonna follow the rabbit hole all the way down. It's a woman and a horse, and something happens. That is the worst salesmanship I could possibly imagine. You put so much pressure. <laughs> all right, just like type it up in Ryan's chat, then you'll see it there. Everybody, get down. He's got a clock. All right, I like it. I'll look it up later. There's no, it's not urgent to look it up now. It is. It's not even Sunday. It's not even Shanghai Sunday. Which is what it's gonna be called when I do that Richard Linklater, Brett Ratner marathon. Guys, we don't need tinted rocks where we're going, okay? Everyone's always obsessed with tinted rocks, man. You can't live your life in pursuit oh. of tinted rocks. Like. The like small rock is such a good damage job. Once you get small rocks, tinted rocks are actually bad for you because they uh, waste your bombs. 
hate that you're not looking up Sunday Horse. It's driving me nuts right I'm now. Not, I don't need to look up Sunday Horse, Nick. After a near-fatal accident on a horse the experts thought was nothing special, a determined rider from the wrong side of the tracks defies all odds to pursue her dreams of winning a national jumping championship. Is this Sunday Horse? Oh, you were talking about Sunday Horse. Yeah, of course I was. So the whole thing that's... It's, it's just the description. There's something about that sentence and the way it's written. You read it like it was a normal sentence, but it's not written like a normal sentence. You all right, man? <laughs> you okay? Rob, help! Can you raise both <laughs> arms above your head and tell me if your face is drooping right now? Uh, Chad, is my face? No, my face looks okay. Your speech is not jumbled, so I've determined you're not having a stroke, and as a result, you must explain yourself. So the sentence is phrased a different way than you actually read it, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, Cobalt is... Not impressed. I may just have to add <laughs> Rob to the call. By your Dude, explanation. That That's the only answer. Fatty! Touch the nips. Alrighty. Do it. Rob, why did you do this? I don't I don't get it. What are your thoughts on the 2005 hit Racing Stripes? Is that the animated movie where a zebra becomes a horse, uh, a racing horse? Who voiced the horse? If you had to guess, okay, put yourself, I, I don't remember, so don't look at chat. If you had to guess which actor voiced a zebra that tried to become a racing horse against all odds, what actor would you pick for 2005? Chris Tucker. That's what I was gonna pick. What? <laughs> I had a guess. You were both gonna pick Chris Tucker? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. thinking. That's the only answer. I'm thinking that that's like uh, a Luke Wilson. Wait, am I thinking of Chris Rock, maybe? Uh, I've had oh, help! Walk. Help! What did, right. I, what did I do? Explain Sunday Horse. Yeah, explain Sunday Horse. Uh, well, the, the sentence is a hilariously long run-on log line. Well, this isn't uh, like eighth grade Brian English just class. Read it like it was no problem. I saw. I saw well, no, he, he stuttered. He I didn't stuttered. stutter. I had to look at the you screen because I'm playing this game, and then I had to come back and be like, "Where was I?" We just found this movie somehow at one time, and it looked ridiculous because I, it, apparently I think it's out now. Actually, it's got a poster. They're working on uh, the sequel. It's been yeah. Well, that's the that's the best part is it has it has like William Shatner and Bing Rames in it, <laughs> which is like ridiculous. And here's the best part: um, the company that produced uh, Sunday Horse, and this has been in production for like two years, by the way. the The production company that made Sunday Horse is. Sunday Horse 2. Oh yeah, that's the best part! <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, now I'm intrigued. Yeah, yeah so, okay, so the, the, the company that You had my Sunday attention, <laughs> but now you have my attention. produced a sentence? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's a film. It's that's a valid film. question, I'm still pretty that's lost. Film. <laughs> yeah, it's a film, yeah. With William Shatter and Bing Rames, inexplicably. Which um, one of them who plays the horse? <laughs> that's a good question. I think it's William Shatner. Oh, that's sure. great. That's okay. <laughs> I'll allow it. By the way, but like the zebra from Racing Stripes, Frankie Muniz, none other than Nick's oh, arch it. nemesis. Hey, that guy. Yeah. So Sunday Horse Two. Made Sorry, Rob. Sunday was Horse. was my yeah. uh, was my joke about uh, Racing Stripes not conducive to your joke? That was it was pretty bad, yeah. I'm not not into it, so I, mean, I figured we'd just move on and forget that joke ever happened, really. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah, you dicks! I died. All right. No, continue. No, I mean, that's basically it. I mean, they, they thought that they thought their idea for Sunday Horse was so good that they decided to make an entire production company around the sequel, which seems really short-sighted. My the opinion. sequel will be for the original. Yeah. How, how many like movies have you made starring Ving Rhames and William Shatner, Rob? That's, I mean, that's a good point, but I don't know if I would still call my production company, like, named after the sequel to the movie. Which, by the way, I mean, the movie seems like it's pretty, like, that's the whole story, right? I mean, like, what else do you have to tell about the Sunday horse after, you know, near fatal accident, she wins the jumping championship? What, did she have another near fatal accident? What are you gonna do for the sequel? Is it a different girl? Is William Shatner gonna don another a new horse? saddle? I don't know, man. Yeah. Maybe a lot of why this was so funny is that we found it by accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, just curious. Is, 
is my work done here or uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I don't know. I feel like I, I butted into the conversation. I was called. No, I, I, I said help happening. and then I tried to summon you because I couldn't explain my way out of this problem. So I'm, yeah, I'm barely summoned. I've been summoned. Rob, get out of here. All right. Hey, okay, bye, Rob. All right. Thank see you, you guys. After you I don't leave, know if I... we're going to vote on what? Sunday horse. <laughs> All right. What are we voting on? If, if Sunday horse loses the vote, Rob is executed. On the steps wow. of the Capitol building. Oh. Get out of here, Rob! I like I, these rules. Do you have no respect for democracy? I don't want your presence to sway the vote. I'm sorry. Remember that other movie you found? The one with the numbers or the one with the colors? Oh, Nicolas Cage. Get out of here! <laughs> I'm gonna Nicolas see Cage. you guys later. If you want to hear the original thing, we found this on one of our old Magic episodes, and it was just fantastic. Okay, what was what was this movie? No, I'm talking about Sunday Horse still, but there was another movie that was also silly. It was like a really weird premise that we turned, it turned out was like kind of creepy, like pedophilic. What are you talking about? One's got a woman and a horse, the other one's pedophilic. It was, we were looking up random shit on IMDb and then like related to links that led to each other. And they got to ever, really weird places. Have you ever seen the movie about the, the girls that are in an insane asylum because they're they have the eating disorder where they keep making themselves throw up and they escape. Girl but interrupted. One of the girls that the, the girls escapes with is like a sexual serial killer and will like what? kill people and like do their bodies and they try to run away to Mexico. What? It's like based off the Hansel and Gretel story. What? Uh, and it has the chick from Orange is the New Black in it. Which... Not the main character, but the one with the really floofy hair. That's what? In the show. <laughs> are you, okay. Are you talking about Donna from that 70s show? No, she doesn't. The one with the really hair. frizzy hair, the frizzy. Oh, hair. oh the was, American like, Pie Lady. Pie yes. Lady. She was also in American Pie. Called. It's like it's number two of whatever it is. I looked is it, it up. Jeepers once, Creepers two. No, it's not Jeepers Creepers. It's freeway. Way, it's really fucked up. I saw it on like HBO or Cinemax at like three in the morning one day when I was a kid, and I didn't even like look what the name was. I just like. Oh God. It was really weird. At the end of the movie, like. The basically, when they go to Mexico, they bunk with this like person who tries to fatten them up and get them not to throw the what food the up, so that they can food. kill them and eat them. And they had to push them into push her into an oven to kill her. It's so bizarre. Well, this canonically, is that is the only way that they'll die. So I hear that part. But yeah, that's pretty weird. It's uh, definitely a weird movie if you're looking for freaky stuff Good God. to watch. Whatever happened to some good old uh, family fun? Whatever happened to predictability? The Milkman, the, milk the Paperboy, paper Evening boy. TV. Yeah. And the Deadlands on Netflix is kind of weird. It's about like cannibalistic tribes that eat each other and kill Now them. I assure you that's just a rumor. The White Glove Society has never consumed human flesh. <laughs> yes, uh, times have been tough in the past, but uh... <laughs> But we've, we've changed now. <laughs> they said that, like, actually eating a person's body, like, between words. Yeah, that's like, no, dude, don't worry, dude, I'm a cannibal, too. Oh, all right, well, then, yes, we are cannibals, now that you've asked. <laughs> you've gotten through my, my defense network. <laughs> oh, oh, Fallout. <laughs> Still got to finish that game. Yeah, it's just got so much content, you kind of just like leave it there for a while. It's, it's very long. Yeah, well, it's as long as you want to make it, right? That really. is true. That is true. I did, have you done any of the DLC, Cobalt? Um, I have not because they're all like, you need to be level 20, or we oh, recommend yeah. level 20, and I'm like 15. Old and people are like, oh, you don't need to be, but then I'm like, I'm trying to fight Death Falls, and they're two-shotting me, so <laughs> I don't know. Old World Blues, I went to at like the recommended level, but I found it pretty tough. But there's some good what weapons that make it doable. But um, I just did Dead Money, and it's like, great story, but the worst gameplay mechanics. I'm not trying to armchair like game design, like I can make it any better, but so many of like the worst things that you hate about games. It's like one long sewer level. It's like, you have a collar around your neck that explodes, but you can shoot speakers to make it not explode. So just walk around looking at the ceiling the whole time for speakers. Also, there's a toxic cloud that poisons you um, at all times, unless you have a certain I companion. I almost went and did dead money, actually. It's my first one. I'm glad I stopped. It's... Because people are like, this is the worst one. This one sucks. 
<laughs> is it worth doing? Though. I don't know. But How I've many done troops it. troops can they check off at once? You know, do the sewer level, make it an escort quest also, and then if you leave the mission bounds, then you explode. It's like, it's, you're basically there. And then it glitches half the time, so you have to reset the mission. Yeah, I guess that's the other thing people were telling me. They're like, um, also, like, half the time, you just lose your whole inventory after you finish the DLC because the game bugs out. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> lose, like, everything I've gotten in 70 hours of play. Hmm. NL didn't even take the fucking gold or loot the boss. This is I was also so correct. goddamn salty. I was so done you, with it. Uh... And then after I left, I was in a dead money hangover for like an hour. So I would, they'd be like an NPC and I'd just be like, I'm murdering you right now. You're dead. <laughs> did you get much uh, gambling done in the casinos? I did and I lost like all of my... Lost? I lost I like kicked out. all of my money. You got kicked out? I got kicked out multiple uh, out of every casino. Because you made actually. too much money? Yeah, I made like over 10,000 calves at each one. Oh my god. It was amazing. I was just rolling around with like 40k calves. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta. The hard part isn't making the calves, it's uh, letting go. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's like 8,000 calves, you know, too. I just used like. I got this one money, or this one gun from Dead Money, I think, and I just use that all the time now. Not Dead Money, sorry, uh, Old World Blues. That I would recommend doing, but there's a lot of talking. Like, not not okay. speaking, there's like a ton of cutscenes, dialogue trees and stuff like that. Not cutscenes, dialogue that. trees. Yeah, and it's pretty funny. But I'm, like, when you start it, it's actually like 45 minutes of being spoken to, so. It's not exaggerating. Not either. exaggerating at all. It's still worth doing, but it is, there's a lot of, a lot of exposition. Everybody was telling me Old World Blues is really worth it, though. It I think a lot of fun. It's, out of the two I've done, it's my favorite for sure. I finished my run a while ago, by the way. You can stop at any point. Okay, we'll see when my uh, my Nuclear Throne run ends here. It's probably getting pretty close. Look, I'm not going to min-max my gambling in a video game. That's, that's a gateway drug as far as I'm concerned. All right? Considering like that there is a literal that. luck stat in the game, I don't want to get on the troubling, uh, you know, mentality of I can control the outcome from these these gambles. Are we talking about Fallout? Yes, not not about real life. Oh yeah, I, I had nine luck from the start. That is so pretty good. I win all the gambling. Man, we're like creeping ever closer to that Fallout 4 release. I know, but it's, I mean... November what? Yeah, well, it's the start of November. November, November I don't care because Afterburner's coming out the 30th. That is true. I mean, I'm going to play it, but I'm not going to play it when everybody else plays it. And I know it's not going to be as good for my channel, but Afterbirth is going to be amazing, I think. Yeah, so you know, like your lifeblood. Get to it when I get to it. Oh. Maybe I'll just pull a spam fish and just stream that game every single day for like nine hours. Do it, man. What is... For six months. It's your, uh... <laughs> you enjoy Fallout, why not? Uh, I kind of want to play Afterbirth a lot past, more. Uh, BlizzCon. Oh, I'm dead. All right. Dead? Yeah. How about you, Cobalt? How's your run going? Uh, I mean, I can stop whenever. I'm in the womb two right now. All right. Let's well, let's minutes, proceed so. to worms, then. Yeah. Worms. All right. We'll, we'll see you in three minutes. Thanks for joining us so far. See you soon. Huh. Worms! Worms! <laughs> okay. The movie you're thinking of was called Food Fight. No, that's not the right one. There is another one. We had a lot of weird movies we talked about in those episodes. I gotta come up with the name of that other really weird movie with the Orange is the New Black Chick, because it is bizarre. I'd love to watch it again. Oh, okay. Jelly, don't get the wrong idea. I called out Spamfish, but I like Spamfish. He's a very cool guy. I love Spamfish, too. He plays a lot of GTA, though. That's why I mentioned that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I like GTA also. I gave him hugs at pa uh, PAX. Let's see. Worms Revolution. Play. I still like Reloaded better, for the record. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Jot, every Wednesday we do the NLSS uh, with 
Northern Lion and Rock Lee, and occasionally Rob and Josh as well. We think we've had one to play with us. Okay. What do you think the top five indie games of this year are? I'd have to look at a list at which ones came out this year, sadly, to put that together. Ori and the Blind Forest is going on my list. Yeah, that's a really good game. Really good. Sure. A little short, but uh, very well made. You know, after Axiom Verge, I don't mean to call out Axiom Verge again, and I really liked it, but I think the pacing of Ori was maybe a little bit better, but also the 100% in Axiom Verge was, like, more optional because it was, like, a lot of unnecessary stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I had a better time overall with Ori for a Metroidvania. So the movie is called Freeway 2 Confessions of a Trick Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Freeway 2 Confessions of a Trick Baby. <laughs> is this correct? A trick a baby. Tr- a trick baby. <laughs> Oh, uh, what did he confess to? They're saying Ori's not indie. Oh, because it was published by Microsoft Game Studios, of course not. You know, another game was published by Microsoft Game Studios. No, what? Gears of War. Oh yeah, confirmed, not indie. We're playing Revolution, right? I bought yeah, Clan I, Wars like four days ago because we played yeah, it. Yeah, I know why you did. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the Worms games are real bad. Clan Wars kind of seems... I mean, it's bad in the sense that it's basically just, again, Armageddon, but like with the weird pseudo 3D textures and stuff. Yeah. But it seems a little better than Revolution, but it also has like the same frame rate issues, like... It crashed more mm. for me, actually. It's weird. Oddly enough. And it seemed like yeah, a higher like, emphasis on the I like the cartoon-esque uh, look to everything. Oh, Clan Wars sucks real dick, apparently. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, all of these are like 5 out of 10 products, but like 9 out of 10 games, just because the Worms design is so much fun. Dude. All right, I I am ready for. I'm ready for an invitation. All right. Cobalt, do you play Blood Bowl? What? All right. I do not. <laughs> that is that answers my question. Blood Bowl is fun, but I'll talk about it with other people. It's a game where orcs and dark elves play football, I think, but it's turn-based. Yeah, that's correct. If you're into that. I think there's humans, too, but it's oh, mostly elves. There's a ton of, of classes. Humans, orcs, various kinds of elves. There's, like, two different types of elves. High elves, dark elves, wood elves, I think. Are I remember like, them being high as hell, yeah. Wood elves are, like, a pre-order bonus or something like that. Skaven is rat people. Okay. I have accept. seen your invite and I accept it. There we go. I had to rename my worms. I'll turn the round time down to like 15 minutes. I think we always go a little long. I think that's yeah. fair. 15 minutes seems Sudden completely death. fair. Sudden death should be yeah. real. I like that added element because then uh, people can't camp for 20 minutes underground. Because yeah. it'll you know, It's a whole new level of strats. Are we going five in on each team, or are you uh, going to cut down four. your teams? I don't know why it starts with five. It's because we don't have a fourth player, so it just balances out the That is somehow. very strange. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to actually I... go into your team and edit one character away. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. What button is that? I think a? you just click on your own name. Oh, click my name? I don't know. I'm using <laughs> the controller. I'm using the controller too. What's the button? Okay, one second. I'm just changing the game name. Worms Revolution. Okay, to change the number of worms, you, yeah, click on your name with the A button and then set worms to four instead of five. Aha, got it. Boom. And then we'll do all that. There you yeah, go. We're good. Yeah. Yep. Go. I'm excited. Well, Obviously, I'm excited for Afterbirth, but I'm excited for Fallout. 
And I'm really, really excited for XCOM 2, man. I'm, I'm, I'm all in on that game. Unless it sucks, in which case, you know, f oh, fuck you, 2K. But I can't wait. Let's cross our fingers, 2K. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, this is pretty good. This looks like uh, the reproductive tract of a, a fertile <laughs> young lass. A, fer a reproductive tract of a fertile... Uh... I What's tried to make it as non-gross as possible with that wording, and it just got worse as time went on. <laughs> the cell phone's lodged in there. Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, that... Look, it's not 100%. Oh, I'm first. I feel look. like there's a few pieces missing, if that's what this is. Why is, why is one of your worms called Lovely Momo? Where are the because fallopian I named them all tubes? after you. You can't kill yourself. <laughs> you, you just feel bad about it. Oh, ah! man. No! <laughs> You just dropped my well, wife off of a big cliff. <laughs> Man, why is the frame rate so bad in worms? Well, this is a lot for it to handle at once. See all these worms? They're wow. everywhere. I can't believe I just fell. 12 damage. <laughs> is Noah? Mustachia. Noah's definitely me. We got real Lady Marmalade over there on the left. <laughs> I still haven't figured out how you get that stuff out. Okay. Michael J. Fox. Probably this is Michael A. L. Fox. Oh, excuse me. I see the epididymis. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of minds over I there. I see the epididymis of a man. <laughs> okay, I don't want this guy to go far. I just want him to go high. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I guess oh, it still started. worked. But I really wanted him to hit those mines. Oh, that was a dud. Okay, I'm going to... The camera's gonna freak out a little bit here. I'm gonna try to get this message off the screen. And then maybe that'll make Worms play better. But probably not, let's be honest. Mm, that's just Isaac that has that problem. We'll see. Maybe Afterbirth will patch the uh, incompatibility with Skype issue. I'm pretty sure it's just my, like, some weird driver issue or something. This is pretty silly. Ooh! <laughs> oh, wrong way! Oh! It almost Dang bounced him it. down, though. Yeah, I wanted to send him off. It oh, actually worked? Yeah, here. actually, taking the Skype message off the screen actually did make it a little bit better. Cool. Which is amazing wow. to me. Hey, Hunted Spam, thank you very much for the subscription. Hmm. I should get the job done. Wow, you guys are pretty much just going buck wild on Yellow Team, huh? Well, I'm taking the easy I, shots, that's all. Yeah, you gotta go for the edges. Oh, we yeah. didn't get that. Oh, though. you are all screwed. <laughs> I hope you get that little 62 over there. Yes. He's in a bad spot. He's in a bad way. Where's the, what are you talking about? He is a saint. <laughs> what is that rope? I'm trying to, like, in the old game, oh, yep. you used to be able to, like, make yourself go down. With the rope, like you could repel with you it. You repel down, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They've made it like impossible. Ooh! Thought okay. you were gonna see that mine for a second. I like, I really like actually some of the items in uh, in Clan Wars. Like the mortar strike is really cool. I wish they'd make that over here. What is that? Well, you just play that. I forgot that you actually own oh. that. It's just the good old rocket launcher. Yeah, it was like a year and a half ago, and we had, like, advanced copies on it, too. And then we just didn't really play it. Technically, oh, we've had advanced man. copies since 1997, so... <laughs> That's true. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if I were you, I see a pretty easy shot to take there. Oh, come on. Just attack each other a little bit. <laughs> I was actually referring to myself, being that I'm standing on top of a poison excreter. Oh, I see. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Imagine the possibilities if Northern Lion had a real computer. We actually, I mentioned this in a Rebirth episode, but we have like 75% of the parts for the computer. We're just waiting for some of the integral stuff like, you know, the motherboard. <laughs> That's, it's, it's shipped. Here. It's coming. Just use duct tape until the motherboard gets there. I think we'll just put a wire that runs from the, um, from all of the pieces Aww. to like the monitor, right? That's just how it works. I'll just hook the processor just up to the monitor. Put like an HDMI link somehow. See a random. I just fudged that all up. The worms are not with me today, and it's Alien's turn. I'm pretty screwed. I think you're Let's doing all right. 
It makes very little sense that that fish doesn't count as having physical mass. So I don't think you really did anything that crazy there. It just didn't work. I knew that was coming. I knew the dynamite last Now will I go into this mine? Oh. I thought you were going to grab the special uh, box there. I thought I was too, but it, I just uh -oh. didn't want to risk it. Uh-oh. Oh! Liz. Oh, dear. Man. They still lived. I should have jumped the mine. Yeah, fish can roll, but uh, fish doesn't have physical mass. I don't like I, my positioning. I thought we had two jetpacks. No, it's been one every time we played so far. We only have one jetpack? Yeah. I said it on the thing we one always take. One baseball bat. All right. Well, this is like super risky. But this it... is suicide strats right here. You know what? All right, Nick. You, you have it your way, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't care if I lose, it's just when I lose and then I've got to wait 20 minutes before I get to play again. That's the only time I'm upset. Yeah. Come on, baby! Ah! Could have been better. We, like, hidden the wall there. Could have been better. All right, little fella. Good luck. So, I'm drunk. What did I miss? Um... We talked about Home Alone 3, and we talked about uh, Freeway 2, the son of the trick. I can't remember. Confessions of a trick baby. Yeah. Trick baby. Confessions of a trick Confessions baby. Confessions of a trick baby, that's it. What is a trick baby? I don't even understand what this means. I don't means. want to talk about what it is. Why would you name something that? Is it like a comma? I think. Confessions of a trick baby? Like that sort of thing is my bag, baby? Oh. There's nothing funny about the movie at all. It's pretty messed up. So. Oh. Everybody's got their homing rockets gone now. It didn't explode. I don't know what items explode, I guess. 69. The wind is always going in the direction I don't want it to go in. <laughs> That's just science. Hey, I discovered I like a flavor of ice cream that I had no idea about. That's the, the least day. exciting thing I've ever heard. Tell me more. <laughs> uh, you ever had butter brickle? What? Was butter brickle? You kiss your mother with that mouth? Yeah. Well, you? you know, it's uh, it's like buttercream flavored ice cream with bits of toffee in it. It's actually really good. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad at all. It's like a little sticky on your teeth, but other than that, it's quite tasty. A butterfinger? That's why I don't eat butterfingers. It's, well, it doesn't taste exactly like that, but it's got a little bit of that salty sweet thing going on, which is great. It's rather like heavy, too. Caramel. I can't believe Flavors. I hit you full blast with that water balloon. I could have just grenaded you, and you would have been out for sure. But I was like, let's do I it with style. Squirt guns. Go. Oh, I should have used squirt gun. You're right. It's got Your some chat really loves it. butter brickle. <laughs> Where does the brickle part come from? I assume it's the bits of toffee that is the brickle. Okay, so when I eat... Butterfinger me daddy. <laughs> I knew that wasn't the right button. I just wasted my parish or my jetpack arena. All right, boys, well, we're going full YOLO. Come on, Mathis, I almost just broke your embargo, man. <laughs> oh, I don't think that would have done it. I know, I'm kidding. Mathis is now playing Half-Life 3 on Steam. <laughs> he has advanced. What? That is just oh, a Pyrrhic no. victory. <laughs> no goodies for any. Oh, look how far <laughs> they go. Wow. I didn't, I didn't expect those to go all the way to the ground. If I can't have them, no one can. I would love if that just fell into the water. Or into the fire, I should say. Oh, no. What should I do here? I gotta hit the X after I activate the jetpack, guys. I think you, if you're on the 360 controller, you hit A to start it, and then the game lags for like two seconds. But don't freak out! Then you yeah, hold hit up. A again. If, yeah, if you hit A Let's twice, play. it pushes you down. Or it, it ends, your, ends your life. <laughs> I feel bad every time I do that. It's so cheap. I'm not. I don't even care about the sentry gun, man. That doesn't bother me at all. It's people, just it wastes your turns more than anything. People usually end up hurting themselves with it. Um, where's the, where's the squite gun? There we go. Think this will work? I don't know. This come up. I don't think it's legal for the president to be thirty. I think oh, that's true, him. actually. 
Oh, yeah. That's good. You know, calling a kid a little squirt sounds real gross if you think about it. You're the one who brought it up! <laughs> okay. Hmm. I just really don't like my situation I got going on over here. 35 is the minimum age for the president. Yeah. Yeah, it's illegal to be 30 years old and president. That's 30 silly. Year olds just what keep is, I want to see a movie, persecuted. Kid President. Starring who? Uh, Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh. A cryogenic, cryogenically frozen Jonathan Lipnicki. Crab bucket hype. Oh, you're going to try to stick something in my hole? 35 okay. is also the maximum FPS for this game. <laughs> Didn't NL just describe Corey in the uh -oh. house? I thought Corey just lived in the house. Goodbye. Uh oh. I lived. The water squished your fall. It did. All right, I really should stop <laughs> trying to do that. You're drowning. All right, goodbye. Uh, we're going to do... Oh my god, controller, please. Oh, uh, thank you, official Aspie, for the two months. God damn it. What's up? Jonathan Rat Mickey? He used to be little squirts. That's someone different yeah. altogether. I'm gonna put a nade right in that hole. Does that mean when you become an adult, you're a big squirt now? Sounds like a weird 7 Eleven drink. Do fish explode? They roll. They do roll. Thanks, Yaru. Two months. Welcome to hell, Nick. <laughs> I'm going to place a perfectly conceived rocket right into that water pit. <laughs> Who are you? Good luck. <sighs> I believe, Not I believe. a chance in hell that that's going to work out. Oh, ah! <laughs> I hit my own worm. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the wind that did that? Yep. Dang. Well, I planned for it. It just didn't work out right. You did, do you, did you not lick your finger and put it up in the air? <laughs> That's how you figure that stuff out. Okay. I suck with the ninja rope, but... What's up with Nick and squirting? I like to squirt. What's wrong with that? Come on. It's like right there. You might dude. accidentally kill yourself doing that. Be careful. When it connects, it might pull you forward into the water. <laughs> Can you explain how worms works? How are you getting all these weapons? God oh! Damn it, I warned me! <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. It was my weakest worm. Oh, no. It's for Sorry. science. Damn it! It has to be some kind of sack that you can just pull items from, right? Like some sack of an inf in infinite size and volume. Some infant sack. Not infant sack! They're, you, hey now, you're putting words in my mouth. Yeah. Now, I never said that that clock was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that that child who made the clock, I hope that he accomplishes great things in his life. But I have this terrible vision of him parlaying his newfound fame into like a reality TV career already. That'd be great. He could be he'd have like a, a YouTube cynical. channel. It'd be like, hey guys, I'm Ahmed the Clock Guy. Playing Fallout 4. And I'd be Ahmed, you had all the You could have been something, man. <laughs> Let's not dismiss him whole cloth yet. Nothing's <laughs> happened. <laughs> Keep making clocks, man. He might very well do that. That's gonna take you somewhere. Don't don't take the easy way out. Don't make a game gameplay channel on YouTube, Ahmed. Stop showing your teachers your clocks. The whole world is your oyster. Show YouTube, I guess. Or show Twitter. What what is even gonna happen with that? I, I, like I was work like that. I didn't know. I, I had to find out for science, like what the fire did, the napalm <laughs> underwater. It does not burn. I just want him to drown. Welcome to hell, they told me. 
Can you? You can't jetpack this, out? This is actually hell. Yeah, uh, probably can. <laughs> yeah, just jetpack out, man. It's super heavy, though, so it's wasting all of my fuel. Well, it's not a and waste if you get out. It, oh my I'm god. I'm playing fucking ET right now on the Atari 2600. <laughs> Alright, I've drink. accepted my face, my fate, and my face. I've accepted my I face. love that I can get specific questions like this, and they totally make sense. NL, have you ever had pork jowl bacon? It's the dankest. I, <laughs> I'm very interested in other cuts of bacon, whether they come from the pig's face or, or elsewhere. And, uh, I would eat that. I would eat that. I had some t tongue that was really good, some beef tongue. Oh, yeah, man! That's the best kept secret of, of all cuisine. Beef tongue is delicious. Oh yeah. The idea of eating tongue though freaks me out a little bit. And that's fair. It's really tender. It's really. Did you have it at like a like a Korean barbecue place or something? It was a, a taco place actually in Seattle. Wow. It was beef beef tongue tacos, and they had rabbit tacos and all sorts of stuff. I've had rabbit good. before. It's pretty good. Ah. Ooh. That was close, Good though. Cool shot. When Kate and I went to Japan, we arrived after, like, you know, 300 hours of travel. And we had to eat before we fell asleep at, like, 4 p.m. And uh, we went to, like, a Japanese barbecue place. It had some beef tongue, but we didn't know what it was because it was in Japanese. I was just like, this is delicious. And then the waiter came over and Kate asked him what it was. He's like, this is a cow tongue. It's like, thank you for not telling us before we ate it. Because it is... I would have I would have been like, ooh. How did you order it without knowing? You just kind of, you know, you point at the menu and go like, oh, one you of point these. It, okay. Yeah. All right. How do I approach this? You still have ninja ropes? Oh, you do. <laughs> I've just done this so many times. My only option is to get out on the the other side. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Or you, you can, can do, do it. Do a jump swing shot, which it, are really it's not going to be easy. You can do it though. Oh. Oh, nice. it's a better. Si oh. <laughs> Just the air's right there, little help. worm. Just come up for a breather help. every now and then. Oh yeah, I'm gonna flood your tunnel. Oh yeah, give him, give it to me. I'm flooding your tunnel right He's now. He's still like alive. He is doing this. The water. Wait a minute, that's not me. Right? Just because it says Northern Lion doesn't mean it's me. Okay. Because it's actually jello? That's not how water works. Okay. Well, I I like it. I don't like being in this position. It really is jello though. I got a little air pocket over here. <laughs> I resent your air pocket. It's like I'm playing Terraria. Yeah. Okay, well no, obviously we gotta do something to mess up uh Rockley smile there in the in the hole. <laughs> he's he's gotta at least be damaged so he can't just sit there. Damn it. Oh, not more water, too. Oh, the juice. It might that... be enough. I'm not sure. That's my bunker hole, and you're just busting it. Oh, it's still dripping. Don't you see that water drop? It hit the bottom and then bounced like a rubber ball. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Team 17. Well, what is this? Here. Hunted spam. Canadian bacon is just ham. That is the bannable offense in my chat. How is it different, though? Oh, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Honestly, I don't know. Canadian bacon is back bacon. Ham is from the loin of the pig. Isn't it all ham, though? It's not all ham unless you call... Do you call bacon ham? Do you call... Well, it's, uh, it's a subheading of ham. No, pork. It's a subheading of pork, not a subheading of ham. Oh. I've sent him to drown with you, Nick. Don't worry. I like how Nick's puddle there looks like it has two separate pools of water. <laughs> it does. There's like an, an interior water bubble inside of it. It's his hot tub. Uh, Wait, the water that fills up there, but not where Cobalt was. Nick, oh you God. need a you need a lesson in hydrodynamics, my friend. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it looks like you just created more water. I did. Are you making the Steam logo down there? Yeah, I am. You didn't pay a lot of money to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Drown with Nick. Did he say hi? It's Frieza. <laughs> hi, it's Frieza. Hey guys, Frieza here. <laughs> I want to watch Frieza's vlog channel. 
What the hell is that? Oh god. Glancing. Not oh man. <laughs> I was gonna call for help with that. <laughs> All right, Chris you Perillo. Just that the uterus or whatever woman's parts <laughs> we started with. It's not. It's not weird. He started the joke. <laughs> Can we get a high? It's freeze a chat. <laughs> Back bacon is UK bacon, and you shat on it before NL. I was ignorant back then. I'd never really had rashers, but I like them now. But I think female bacon is superior, which is the true Canadian bacon. But I'm not going to keep going here. It's uh, too far. I don't discriminate when it comes to bacon. I'll eat it. I don't care.